A typical July day brings sizzling heat and inevitably pool crashers. Yeah, we're talking about people here who see a pool and then illegally let themselves in. All new tonight, ABC 15's Nick Saletti explains what you should do if you see one in action. Sometimes locks and gates just like this aren't enough. When it comes to pools, that cool, clear water is tough to resist, but sneaking in comes at a cost. In the art of crashing weddings. Sanjay Collins. Chuck Fendler. You've heard of wedding crashers. Here in the valley, it's a different kind of crasher that's making a splash. Yeah, from time to time, we will get calls from residences from apartment complex or condos that there are people they don't recognize uh, that are swimming in their pool. Like this woman, inviting herself over to the Central Phoenix condo complex for a dip. One group of neighbors will never forget. They've been secretly snapping photos of her, even confronting her about what she was doing there. After dropping a few F-bombs, people say it was pretty obvious she was a pool crasher in the flesh. If it becomes an issue of a trespassing that the apartment complex wants to enforce, they will in turn call us and we will address that issue. But before Phoenix police can arrest someone for trespassing at a condo or apartment complex, a few things need to happen. First, is the pool crasher refusing to leave? That could lead to an arrest. Or if you've already warned this person once, you've documented it, and the pool crasher comes back, then he or she would be in hot water with police. In most cases, your best bet is to call your complex management or the HOA. But Phoenix police do say if you see somebody at your pool doing something dangerous, maybe breaking bottles, don't hesitate to call them right away. By the way, if you are convicted of trespassing, you could face fines in the thousands of dollars and even jail time. So your best bet, try to find a friend with a pool. Reporting here in Phoenix, Nick Saletti, ABC 15, Arizona.